Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm Lady Hellcat and this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are now in San Juan next to Paititi. Abby brought us here and uh, we're supposed to go and talk to a friend of us. I believe. Hello, Abby? My chicken. Well now that I crafted a bunch of stuff, I believe that I can uh, get new goodies. Perdóname, disculpe. I don't have enough space for that. Yama. I already had it. Five Yama, so we're good. Perdón. I think I can talk to the people here. Hard work is good for the soul. The sect has been maintaining this mission through hard work for over 400 years. Ángel de la Cruz and Trulos Serrano arrived here back then and immediately set to work. Their philosophy of labor being the only true way to get closer to God is one we still follow, even now. I see. Hi, kid. Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. Okay. He told me about a secret. Oh, there's a merchant. Oh. Oh, yeah, I started that quest. There's a merchant here. We want to talk to him. My father brought us here when I was just a boy. For a holiday. Research. He studied Incan stone monuments. I guess it was more of a hobby. He had no formal education. He sounds like an interesting man. He was. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I'd come back here after he died. Maybe see if I could finish what he started. I know how you feel. But then I just ended up staying. There's something about this place that draws people and keeps them here. Ah, there's a monolith. See, maybe I have talked to more people. Oh no. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. I see. So, Mr. Merchant, can to trade? Mrs. Merchant, okay. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? Yes, sure. A rifle suppressor and a shotgun suppressor. Uh, yeah, we have enough Good money deal. for that, so... I'm sure you will be satisfied. Yes, of course I will be satisfied. Here. Uh, we want to sell all of that. Sell max. That's a good deal for both of us. And sell max of that. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Now, what am I full of? Oh, hold on. Die. Large. What is this? Large shell holder. Large pistol ammo pouch. Large rifle. Shell holder. Well. That's a good mm -hmm. deal for both of us. Good deal. And then I will still need... I'm uh, sure you will be satisfied. Do you think I can still... I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can sell some more stuff. That I use for crafting. So... Hold on. Uh, let's keep 18. 48. 38. Let's keep 20. Good deal. Here also, let's keep 20. So let's sell 40. 
Hey, that's, that's a good, good deal for both of us. Um, I have thirty-seven. I think ten is I'm fine. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Thirty-two. That's a good deal for both of us. I mean, I'm always full on these things, but I keep picking them up. Thirty-five. I'm sure you will be satisfied. And I need to buy some new guns. This I need to craft stuff. Hold on. I wonder if I can sell those because I don't really use them. Do you use them for crafting? Thirty-five. That's a see. good deal for both of us. Hide. Bad. Salvage. Ah, yes, I use these for crafting as well, so. Uh, we're almost full on that. So let's keep 10. I'm sure you will be satisfied. And here, let's do the same and let's keep 10. Good deal. Now, see? More stuff I can buy. That's a good deal for both of us. So, we can get... Well balanced, rate of fire. What is this? Is that a shotgun? Makes big, big holes faster. I like that. Uh, I'll go with this one. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. Awesomeness. Since we went shopping... Yeah. Let us see... Uh, inventory. Pistol side and pistol suppressor. Yo, didn't I just buy? Didn't I just buy the suppressor? Shouldn't it automatically be attached to... Yeah. Zero of two. Why does it say zero of two? I don't understand. Maybe because it's not for all? Shotgun. Better show. Oh, this one does the most damage. Actually, this one does the most damage. Hmm. Huh. So it's far from doing the most damage. But it gets two upgrades, so I think it's going to be nice. Okay. I thought I just bought two suppressors, so that's fine. Let's see. Hold on. Now I think I can get those feathers. <laughs> And then they said something about... The cemetery. I can't quite explain it, but have you noticed how the world seems thinner here than in other places? Like, it's just a curtain drawn, and if you found a cord, you could pull it and see heaven itself. There seems like a tangible connection between this life and the next here. Or maybe we're all already dead. Or maybe I need to get out of the sun for a little while. You find some interesting stuff by talking to people. Uh, here. Now this is a fascinating concept. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. That's new. There's someone over there. I wonder what he has to tell me. Pretty sure. You know, it seems like every few years. God throws a disaster this way. I can see that the earthquake caused a lot of damage. Nothing we can't fix with enough time. And materials. Unfortunately, one of those is in short supply. One of those is in short supply. Which one is that? Hmm. 
And I'm just taking some of the supplies with me. What are you doing here, Jonah? Oh, something about a cemetery. There's some wood. And uh, there's a little bug. I like it that you get 5 XP for taking out the bugs. Who are you? Are you the witch? Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows. Or they're like this one, where it feels more natural and unplanned. Right, and that is important because... Yeah, a bunch of wood, I'll take it. What is this? Artifacts. These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. I wonder how it ended up here. Yeah, well, how did it end up there, Lara? Is that a map? Looks like a map. And there's a bunch of documents? Uh, so I'll have to get into that house afterwards. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Okay. Let's go talk to... Hold on. Where? Oh, there's a little back area. See, I wouldn't have found that. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time. In 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543... Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. I see. I still don't think I can get to that one. Though. <sighs> Some of those kids are so high-spirited. I need a little break. Don't tell the sisters. <laughs> I could use a little spirits myself some days, but this mission does not allow alcohol, so I have to settle for the few moments of quiet I can find. Yeah, looks like the kids are ne? insane. Oh, look at that, gunpowder is always welcome. Oh, there's one of those flags. This part of I know. There's one more document, and there's one downstairs that I didn't find either. Ah, another sister. That's quite a bow you have. You must be a hunter. The mission could use a hunter. Ever since before the earthquake, we've been plagued by wolves. I can't let these children out of my sight for a second. Just the other day, I saw this one out on the road, running after a wolf. Can you believe that? He said he only wanted to play. Oh, as though he expected the wolves to roll over and chase sticks. Yeah, well. <gasps> Ooh. Very wolf. You know, I always thought that, you know, wolves would be my best friend. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, 
asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Right. Uh, uh like a school. That's cute. Hold on. Cloth. See, I told you I was going to find most of this stuff all over again. It's an artifact over here. No, it's not an artifact. Sorry. Just stuff for grabs. Merece un castigo. Poor child. I'm sure he didn't do anything wrong. Where is it? Over here. Oh, I didn't see that. See? This document outlines the goals and works of the mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. Oh, well, that's very nice. So, technically I need to go down there on the left. It's broken. Uh. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well... I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes. It's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. I tell you. I knew I had to go back. Okay. Oh, we have a little side quest here too. Let's see if we'll have time for that or not. Is that Ebby? That is not Ebby. There's another campsite. Shh. You hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. She must be close. She? The Empress Jaguar. As soon as she shows up, every other animal shuts up. No need to attract her attention, right? Right. Shouldn't we be quiet too, then? Another... Okay, legendary animal. Not bad. And another map of secrets. Okay, so this one is actually... Oh. What is all of that back there? Oh, another document. 18th of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset, and then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the chosen one. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. No. Really? That is actually a clue for us. Okay, let's get the campfire. Head to the library. I don't think that it's still in the library, though. And I don't think that I got a skill point, so... Let's talk to the guy and see if we can help him. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. 
I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. Because she's a tomb breeder. Okay, explore the local mysteries, investigate the cemetery. Oh, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Crypt around somewhere in the library? What now? Oh. Oh, it looks like this area again is a little bit bigger than what we anticipated. So there's a challenge tomb, there's a relic. There's the monolith, I didn't go there. Anyways. How much? 18% completion? Jeez. How am I ever going to, to get 100% completion on this? So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why oh, secret? If Lopez is involved. Bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Huh. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Seven steps closer Strange, to God. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified. And finally entombed. Wow. Okay, we had already talked to her. Uh, ah, there's someone that we hadn't seen before. I don't care about fish. I care about... Calling me a witch. <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people <laughs> are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Isa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl. A good researcher. And unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away. But I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. 
that the blind trickster fill their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? Uh... Excuse me? Okay, does it say anything? Uh, find the hidden treasure. Explore the local mysteries. Mysteries, okay, find the hidden treasure. Who am I? I have no idea. At the cellar? Is there a cellar? I don't know, because they said go hungry. Oh, explore the local mysteries. I don't know. Just say it should be around here somewhere, right? Well, there's something there. Ah, there. Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. Return to the children. So did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said there's a real hero. <laughs> please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. <laughs> Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Uh, which is what are we supposed to do? Why should we start? Over this way. Thank you for your help, and I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. Look through me, so perhaps this way. Wow. Okay, so it is the other tomb, actually. All right. So we will 
finish that next time. Um... Oh, we tried to uncover that other mystery. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? <laughs> Via Veritas, okay. What? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. 25th of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Was he okay? Uh, is there- there's another room back there, so the other- did I just find a random document? Yeah, I just found a random document. Which works fine. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. Now, the question is, where did he put the silver box? Story complete, Gates of Hell. I love it when I complete stories. So, um... What? Is it on the roof? and an eclipse all right so this looks like there's a bunch of stuff <coughs> as usual breaking stuff and under his wings you may seek refuge under his wings Can I climb up there? Oh. Stairs. <clears throat> see? Like I said, stuff that we wouldn't even see. If we didn't find some maps. Bunch of hidden stuff. My goodness. 26th of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow. For only he who does will be worthy of this box. Which building? It's not this library. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Uh, there's more stuff downstairs though. Hold on.
John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. <laughs> John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. Okay, the clues are all coming together. You know, I actually like all of this. Whoa, feathers. The historical part of the game. It's always been, I think, one of my favorite things. Uh, we're supposed to read this one? No. We're just supposed to look around in general. Um, do you think there's more stuff upstairs? I don't know. Something is hidden behind this, maybe? Maybe not? Oh, yeah. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. The soundtrack here is also very nice. What is this? This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. It's like there was a chapel in here, not a library. Okay. There's probably more stuff for us to see upstairs then. I don't think there's anything else down here. Mm-hmm. Nice soundtrack. I like it. You know what Abby always says? Don't break stuff. It's not her style. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah! Those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Find the heron and the eclipse. Oh, I found it. It's downstairs. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Right. What? This place is full of stuff. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Hmm. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Damn, son. Hold on. Another story complete. 32% 32, 32 complete in this area. What? 
Yeah, another skill point. It means I can get that skill that I wanted to get, which was I don't remember. Okay, and the heron was downstairs. So we're good on that. Yep, here we go. There's a whole mural under here. Cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right, let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. Around here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, that cross that I when found we back find there. The box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Don't worry about that. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. I didn't open completely. Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Down the rabbit's hole we go. But Oh boy, this is so national treasure. Um Yeah, with puzzles. <laughs> Holy shit, Jonah. You want to give me a heart attack? Station 2. Jesus falls the first time. Okay. Looks like There's an inscription here. Angulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. Which means we will have to adjust the light thingies. Anyways, we're going to wrap up this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned on future content. I would really appreciate it. And it would really help out the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.